Hey, this is Trevor Sternad from the Black Dahlia Murder here, and you're listening to the Ever Black Podcast. Hey, human scum, this is odorous from Guam. We're going to the Fear Factory. This is George Corps, Commander Fisher. This is Jasmine Devil Drop. This is Wade from Our Last Enemy. The Magnificent Cool Style of Tennessee. Hey, this is Wednesday 13. This is Bruce Anderson. Rex from Kill Devil Hill. This is Gary Bruce from Simple Tour, and you're listening to Ever Black Podcast. All right, before we go into this episode, we just need to give a shout-out to our show supporters, the brutal occult clothing brand Electric Witch, who have amazing apparel from shirts to hoodies to hats to beanies and more. Check out their full range at electricwitch.com.au and put in the code EVERBLACK for 20% off your order. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the EVERBLACK podcast through Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, and Facebook, and check out all our articles at everblackmedia.com. All right, on with the show. Hey there, welcome to this episode of the Ever Black Podcast. I hope you're all staying safe and well out there and looking after each other and looking after yourselves and uh, getting some time to have a few beers and listen to some metal and uh, spend some quality time with your family. I hope uh, it hasn't been too crazy for you guys because it's definitely crazy times around the world right now, right? On this show, we have one of my favourite guests, Lejon Witherspoon from Seven Dust, who I spoke to a little while ago for The Faction. He's one of my favourite people on the planet. He's always really cool, down to earth and uh, up for a chat. It makes you like the band even more when you meet someone and they're uh, just really down to earth people. So, uh, yeah, we had a good chat about their upcoming tour in February with Steel Panther, which is going to be crazy, and uh, his previous touring with Steel Panther and how he's been spending his time on lockdown with his family. And uh, also a little bit about Little Richard. This was recorded uh, just after Little Richard had passed, and uh, he shared a story about how he had the chance to uh, talk to Little Richard on the phone, one of his heroes, and how that affected him. It's awesome. It's such a cool story. Uh, it does get cut off a little bit towards the end, unfortunately, because that sometimes that's the way those things go with these phone things. But, uh, uh, man, awesome chat, awesome guy. Uh, everyone should get their tickets for that tour. It's going to be incredible. So uh, the tour kicks off on Tuesday, the 16th of February, Margaret Court Arena in Melbourne. Thursday, the 18th of February at Next in Newcastle. Friday, 19th of February at the Hordorn Pavilion in Sydney. Saturday, the 20th of February at Eaton's Hill Hotel in Brisbane. And tickets are on sale now through MJRPresents.com. Get your tickets now and uh, get prepared. It's uh, Hopefully things are going to start getting back to normal very, very soon. And uh, we can all start partying, have some beers and uh, go on to gigs. All right, here is my chat with Lejon Witherspoon from Seven Dust. Get your tickets now. Horns high. Enjoy, people. Hey, Lejon, how are you, man? Hey, I'm fat. How are you, first off? I'm doing excellent, bro. Yeah. We're a million miles away, <laughs> and I would have thought that we'd have been there next week to be hanging out, and I'm so sorry that this crazy world has put upon us something that we've never seen before. <laughs> I know, man. It's, it's, it's insane. In our life, crazy. It's crazy. In our lifetime, I don't even know what to, to say that. We're going to look back at this and be like, what the heck was going on? <laughs> it is it is insane. But how, how are you holding up over there? You doing okay? You and your family? You, you know what? Yeah, we're great. You know, for me, honestly, it, it's been incredible because normally I would be gone for a long time. So mm. to be able to be here with my family uh, and the kids to teach them and yeah. – uh, alone together is something that I've been saying, and it's been a beautiful time. I thought me and my wife would probably be divorced by now, but <laughs> I told her not this, this not for Mother's Day. I said, you know what? I love you even more, I, and and I, I don't, I, I just maybe because you know the things are so scary, and mm. you never know what's going to happen, and you just, you just don't want to lose anyone at all. So this time has been a very reflecting. Um, time for me i don't want to i don't want to be that guy i just want to be you know i want to take care of what's going on here you know you know i don't know if, if that makes sense but I've, it, it's changed me it's just this time has definitely changed me i i totally agree you know it's it's there's a lot of bad to it but i mean there's been a few little blessings in 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 there as well like me too like holding putting the brakes on a little bit having a little bit more family time and slowing down and Absolutely. 
analyzing everything. <laughs> I mean, it's hard not to, right? Analyzing everything, like watching people like go out too soon and be like, "Oh my god, what are you idiots doing? Take it easy, come on, let's not let's." If you can just if if you can make it better for everyone, let's just make it better for everyone so we can get back to normal. But if you you know, it's like we're doing the best, and I, I make sure that me and my family, uh, because it's very important. You know, I want everyone to live. I want us all mm. to be happy, and I want us all to be safe, and I want us all to be able to go back and to be able to be at concerts together and to be able to touch again. You know, be able to hug. That's what I want again. You know, so. I'm, I'm I'm waiting it out. Have you been working on uh, any new Seven Dust material or, or solo material on lockdown? Well, well, you know we have the new Seven Dust album. We have 13 songs that we're waiting. It was going to come out in September, but now we're kind of up in the air of when it's going to come out because we don't really know. Uh, I can I can tell you this that we are going to release a Seven Dust song from the new album in the next few weeks. Yeah, cool. uh, for everyone to hear which is something that I have not told a lot of people, only you cats in Australia, because, again, <laughs> you're the only... Let me tell you why. You're the only uh, tour that we've announced, because, you know, we don't know what's going on mm. in the States or at all right now. Who knows? But uh, other than that, yes, my solo stuff is still going on, and I'm in the middle of waiting on a, uh, I guess what you call a... Uh, you have to you you have to let certain people hear it before you can go on and, and shop it other places. So I'm excited about my solo thing. <laughs> oh man, everyone is everyone in the uh, Seven Dust. Shout out oh, to well, the Seven Dust group on uh, on Facebook. We we're all very very pumped for it. It's gonna be cool. Well, thank you. I don't really say anything about it because a lot of people don't know mm. that I'm like in the middle of a a waiting process because you know I'm an artist and you have to do certain things legally before you can announce things. Mm. So I'm like at that point, but there's, there's music, there's interest, and I can't wait. And I'm so excited about uh, saying what's going to happen with it because I have the songs, I have it, and it's, it's, it's great. So I'm looking forward to that. But before that, Seven Dust, is, you know, for me is the most important thing. And my solo thing, of course, is important. I, I'm excited to be able to do it, but, you know, I'm just ready to get back out and do all the music, you know. Absolutely. And I mean, as you were saying before, I mean, it was meant to be next week, this tour. Everyone was so pumped and, you know, under the circumstances, but at least we, we're really looking forward to it. Like, you, you're coming down here with Steel Panther early next year and it's going to be incredible, man. And both bands are wildly different, but there was something about the team up that I think is a hell of a lot of fun. Have you toured with those dudes before? Oh, let me tell you what. So first off, we're friends with those guys. We're brothers with those guys for years and years and years. <laughs> We've been able, luckily enough, to play a couple of shows. And I've hung out with those guys at several shows uh, on off time that I've been able to catch them, like at Sturges. At, you know, I ride motor, I ride Harleys. And I've been able to hang out with them at Sturges on the off time last, maybe two years ago. But what an exciting tour. What a fun tour to be on. And a lot of people, you know, like, what still, man? I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. Those are some of the best musician artists out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even though it's fun, those are the most serious cats that they are. So what an exciting time. I cannot wait to get there with those guys. And uh, I, I'll let you know, I've not told a lot of people, no, I've only told one other person in another interview, that I, you know, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday thing that they do on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I, I was able to do one for for a Wednesday, and I I put a wig on, and I I was in my bar, and I was doing a whole little skit for him. So it's exciting. I love the, the 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 comedic side that they bring to the music, and how they don't take themselves so seriously, but they are the most serious artists. <laughs> I know, like so I know, they're crazy. I love them. But uh, do you reckon <laughs> exactly? <laughs> do you reckon there'll be a chance of uh, maybe both bands jam together, or maybe you getting up to? Uh... To sing uh, a cover or something like with uh, them? Oh, uh, absolutely! It'll definitely happen for sure. There's no way around it. <laughs> what, what's your What's your pick? What's one song that you'd like to jam out with those dudes? I don't know, man. They asked me one time to do an ACDC song when I was at Sturgis, but when they went on stage, it was so late in the evening that I was hanging out with. I was off from Seven Dust, and I had I was on a tour bus with my buddies. And uh, we took our Harleys down, 
And by the time they asked me to get on stage, I was like, I, I think I might be a little too tuned up to get up there to try to sing something. So I don't want to make a fool of myself. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so I, I know for sure that I'll be definitely on stage with them. And you know, you know the thing about those dudes as well? I mean, they're hilarious, but they're also very mischievous. They're, they're trouble. And I can oh, imagine it being that they're, they're kind of like those guys. I've said it before. They're the kind of guys that you go to your wife, I'm going out to have a few beers with this person, and your wife gives you that sort of side glance because they know you're going to get into trouble. Is it like well, that? That's what they think. But those, <laughs> yeah, those guys, you know what, man? It's so funny. After the scenes and everything's going on, you just, some, you know, those guys are just the greatest guys in the world, man. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure for them to even ask us on their headline tour to ask seven of us to go with them. I'm like, this is crazy. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I, I'm there in my mind already. And so I can't wait for this to happen. And to let you know, if, it, if I didn't say it already, I don't know. Uh, it's the only thing on our books that we are scheduled for. You know, there's other offers, but as far as right now, the only thing that we have that we've said yes to is uh, Steel Panther in Australia. Oh, man. It's going to be so fun. And, and like, the, it's a party. Yeah. Every time they play, is a party. Every time it's, you guys play, it's a party. It, it, I just can't imagine. I can't imagine why we wouldn't do the tour. It's everywhere because it's going to be so much fun. I, I my, my face hurts from smiling when I talk about it. <laughs> it's going to be, uh, for a lot of us, it's going to be hangover for months afterwards oh yes yes and i can't wait to get there i can't wait to get to your view i can't wait to get to your beautiful country to hang out again and with steel panther it'll be even the best because you know we'll open up for them and they'll get to play but then i'll be able to come out and hang out yeah man and not be the headliner but to be able to like get amongst everyone and be like my mates and my my brothers and my sisters and my family you know, I have a lot of family now over the years that come and stay with me from Australia. So it's like, oh, awesome. I, it's, 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 it's crazy to me that, uh, I, I, I love it. I can't wait to get back to see you guys. And do you know, I also saw on your Instagram, you, uh, paid tribute to little Richard who we sadly lost this week, oh, wow. and man, we metal, especially, I think owes a lot to him. If you trace it all back with attitude, the energy, did you, did you ever meet him? And talk to him personally. Wow, I can't. Wow, you're gonna make me cry. I can't believe you asked me that. Uh, one of my very good friends, Jay, was actually a background singer and dancer for Little Richard no for way. years and years and years. And um, I remember being in L.A. and Little Richard was staying in the top of that uh, Hyatt hotel. He had the whole top floor or whatever. And Jay said, uh, "We're gonna call Richard, the King." And I said, "What?" <laughs> oh, and the man. next thing I knew, that me and Little me and little Richard were talking on the phone, changed my life. And when he passed, I saw on Instagram my day, he'd let me know and everything. And I said, do you remember when you let me talk to him? He said, yeah. He said, I was just passing the torch on. And he said, let me let you know something. He said, I was with little Richard and his son, Danny in Nashville in February uh, for his birthday or when his birthday was. And he said, little Richard asked about me. And he said, what? the key remembered you. And I said, what? For me, it meant so much. To, to think that such an icon and an idol that changed the, the world and yeah, is man. still changing the world and will always still change the world, you know, uh, that I had the chance to talk to him and for him to give me advice about my career and to keep going and to keep moving, that I was able to be lucky enough to be in that moment in life to have someone in my circle to be that close. I mean, uh, how, how does that happen? You know, I still, uh, I, I still can't believe it. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I know that, you know, I always say that true legends never die. His energy will mm. always be around us. Absolutely. And the dude. But was I did the... talk to him and it was great. Oh, dude. It was, a, it, he, it was a voice and, and yeah, baby, and the whole, <laughs> you better keep doing it. And the whole, I mean, it was him. It was, oh, wow. It was, uh, uh, you just know when you, you, you talk to a superstar and the energy mm. and it, it was just, something that, that I'll never, never forget in my entire life. You know, I think it, it, it shook up a lot of people this week um, because he was such a legend. Like, man, and I'm so I'm so happy for you that you had that that personal moment with him, you know? That's, that's oh, amazing. Oh, definitely. I mean, just with everything he did, he was a, he was a, 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 a changer of everything, mm. just with his lifestyle, with just 
the timing uh, in the industry and in the in the world that he was going through and the things that he had to deal with being who he was. Yeah. And uh, it's just everything was incredible that he, he surpassed it and didn't regress and let anyone regress him into, into anything that held him back from achieving the goals that he had to, to, to do. Thank you for even mentioning that. Thank you. No one has mentioned that. Thank you. Oh, that's so easy, man. Um, well, uh, 2021 is going to be a big year, hopefully, for everyone. Everyone's going to be in full force. And it's also, I believe, the 20th anniversary of Animosity. Do you guys plan on uh, celebrating that in some way? Yeah, definitely. We'll do a – let's see. What, which which one do we just do? We did a – yeah, we'll definitely do an Animosity tour. Uh, I, I, that's something that I always like to do is uh, to bring those albums back. Because mm. you think about it like this. I Just the way I think about it. You, you might have only heard two, maybe one song on the radio – and if you're not deep into the band, you might have not heard the last, the other 10 songs that we had on it. So it's always a pleasure to go back in time, to be able to bring back that time mm. and to do it. So, yes, that's something we'll definitely do. And I feel like that's something that we'll do on every album. That's what, something I would like to do to continue the legacy of Seven Dust, to continue to, 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 to bring music and to bring back those feelings. And, I mean, just like any other band, there's times in your life that, wow, that, that moment of time, that album right there, guess what I was going through? And it just, it, it, it just, you know, it reminds you of things. And I think that's what music, music is a healer. And I think that that's always going to be around. And so I hope that we're always able to do anniversaries for all our albums because that maybe that's something that'll keep us around. Oh, <laughs> before man. We get too old. <laughs> and I can't wait for the new album. And of course, uh, man, I definitely hope we can.